Today, I'm gonna to show you how to match colors from one image to another in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's video, we're gonna show you something that is incredibly useful. Let's say you're browsing around the internet and you find an image that maybe has been color toned and you're like, actually, that looks fantastic. I wanna apply that same coloring to my photos, but I don't know how to do it. Well, you're in luck because we're gonna show you how to do it right now. Here we are in Photoshop. We have our color toned image on the right hand side and our regular image on the left. And I want some of the colors from the right image to go onto the left image. Now there's not really a great automatic way to do this in Photoshop. So we're gonna show you the manual way, which is actually fantastic because it gives you incredible control and you can do this with any type of photos. So we're gonna go to our move tool. Let's just click and drag from one image to another. Boop. We're gonna hit Control or Command T and I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. There we go. And hit Enter. Let's hit F for full screen. So this looks really good now. I've got both of the images in the same document and I can use the color toned image to then analyze it and see what I need to change on my other image. So the first thing what we wanna do is create a black and white adjustment layer. Now I know it sounds crazy. It's like, why would we make it black and white? Well, we need to find the lightest pixels in my color toned image versus the lightest pixels of my original image and compare the two. Okay, same with the darkest pixels. So here we go. We're gonna grab an adjustment layer. We're gonna go to black and white, boop, and that's it. You can see creating a black and white adjustment layer. Now let's go ahead and take a look. We're just gonna make a new layer here and I just kinda wanna show you this cause it's like, it's just good to know. So this is the sky in our color toned image. Okay, that's like kind of like the lightest part of that image. And that's kind of coming in at like a, you know, nice neutral gray there. Now, the sky in our background image, you can see is really, really bright, even like our subject, our subjects collar is really, really bright. It's much brighter than the brightest pixel of our color toned image, which is right about here. So I know that I need to take my highlights and I need to make them darker. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our shadows. So we're just gonna clear this layer. I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool. Let's go ahead and click on our shadows. So we'll hold Alt or Option. So this is like the darkest shadow levels of my of this image here, of the color tone image. And let's take a look at the shadows for my other image. And you can see they're pretty similar. So this tells me that I don't have to do much with my shadows. Really, it's all about my highlights. So let's go ahead and start by making our highlights a little bit darker. We're just gonna delete this layer real quick. We don't need it anymore. Now I'm gonna keep my black and white adjustment layer on just to see what we're doing for now. We're gonna wind up turning it off in a little bit. So I've got my black and white adjustment layer in the very top. Then I've got my color tone. Let me just click on color tone here, call it color tone. And underneath my reference image basically, we're gonna create a levels adjustment layer. So let's just click on our background. We're gonna go to our adjustments and go to levels. Okay, now here in our levels adjustment layer, uh, we have two sliders. The top slider, you can change your black point, you can change your midpoint, and you can change your white point. And then on the bottom, you can make your darks lighter and you can make your lights darker. And this is kind of where we wanna be for this. So when I make my lights a little bit darker, you're gonna see now we can see like they're starting to look more similar, right? I'm starting to match the light levels from my reference image to this photo. Now my midtones are getting a little bit too dark, so we're just gonna pull those to the left and brighten them up a little bit. Okay, and we can see right about there, we're actually looking pretty good, right? Like there's the before and the after. You can see because this adjustment layer, this levels adjustment layer here is under my color tone layer, it's only affecting my background. It's only affecting what's under there. So now that I've done it in black and white, I have a really good idea of what I need to do with my colors. So what do my colors need to do? Well, they need to go darker. I need to take the bright levels from my colors and simply make them darker. And then I need to take my midtones and make them a little bit lighter. And thankfully, we don't have to change tools at all because you can actually do this with your levels adjustment layer. Super cool. So let's go ahead and reset this. I'm just gonna hit this reset button a couple times, just get it back to normal, okay? And now we're gonna turn off our black and white adjustment layer, keeping in mind that this was right about there, okay? And then this was right about there. So we're just keeping those things in mind. So we're gonna go to our different color channels and try to replicate that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and turn black and white off. Now, instead of just right here in RGB, instead of just taking this and making my lights darker, what we're gonna do is go into our different color channels and we're going to mix our colors to do the same thing, but get some of the color toning from my original one, okay? So we're not only like replicating color, we're also replicating light levels. And that's really the key to matching images. So let's go ahead and start off. We're gonna click on our red channel. Now, our red channel, again, I know all of these I need to bring right to about there. So let's say, start with the red channel. Let's go ahead and bring it down there, okay? Then we'll go to the green channel, bring it down. I know it's not looking great, but don't worry. Then we go to our blue channel and we start pulling this down here. And we can see, like, if I go a little bit to the right, it's a little bit too blue, a little bit to the left, it's a little bit too yellow. There we go, that actually looks pretty good. Let's go to our red channel now and we can start to fine tune our reds, okay? And so now what I'm doing is I'm taking a look at the highlight levels in my image. Let's go ahead and just move this image up there. Look, that's pretty dang similar, right? The sky in my background, just this levels adjustment right, layer, right? The sky in my background versus the sky with our subject, pretty similar already. So let's go back to our levels. We're gonna go to our green channel, Okay, and start adjusting the green channel a little bit. Pretty good. I think we need a little bit more blue. All right. There we go. And look at that. Like, pretty dang impressive, right? Like, the highlights now from, like, my background layer, just with the levels adjustment layer. Like, I haven't made that many adjustments. But the highlights now are starting to look a lot like the highlights of my original reference image. So that's fantastic. Now, we also mentioned that we wanted to do some things with our mid-tones. We need to make them a little bit brighter, right? Because we did that in black and white. So now we're replicating the same thing with our colors. So we want to make them a little bit brighter. Again, just go to your red channel, pull this to the left a little bit. There we go. We'll do the same thing with our green channel. Fantastic. And our blue channel. All right, maybe a little bit more with the green channel. So now it's about fine tuning, right? It's about making these adjustments and doing the match. But because we started off, there we go, that's looking really good. I need to remove some blues. But because we started off with this in black and white, and I knew that I had to make my highlights darker, and I needed to make my midtones a little bit brighter, now I can get in here and do this with each of my different color channels, okay? And simply start to match them to my photograph. There we go, that looks great. Let's pull a little bit of blues out of there because we do have like kind of a yellowish, um, or kind of like an orangish color here in my midtones. So I'm working to replicate that here in my background image. And right about there, we're looking really, really good. So let's go ahead and close that down. And we did that, guys, with one levels adjustment layer. Look at this. The highlights match really well. The midtones, you can see a lot of these colors are showing up in this image as well. So let's go ahead and take this, uh, we'll just turn this levels adjustment layer off and on. So here's our before and here's the after. You can see big, big change to the image. And the before doesn't look like it matches a reference at all. And the after, Boom, look at that. I would have, like, I could post those side by side in a portfolio and it would totally look like the same photographer took these and color toned them in the same way. So now we just turn off our color tone reference image and we are good to go. Oh, those colors match so well. And that's all there is to matching color from two different photos. So we'll just do a little bit of a recap. You wanna make sure you got your reference photo. That's your photo that's already been color toned. Go ahead and put it over top of your image. And then you wanna start analyzing your light levels. I like to do that in black and white because it just allows me to focus on highlights, midtones, and shadows. So once I have a good idea of where those levels need to be, then I go into my different color channels within a levels adjustment layer and simply replicate that but I'm able to use those fine-tuned sliders to really just tune into exactly what needs to happen in those photos. Using this technique, you're gonna be able to match any photo's color. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's free episode. If you wanna learn more from Flurn.com, just click on that subscribe button, boop, right up there. YouTube thinks you're gonna love this video. And if you wanna become a true Photoshop master, I recommend checking out Flurn Pro right up there. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.